Many have grown somewhat accustomed to the idea that when a financial and or economic crisis appears, there's no need to worry because central banks can just flood the system with liquidity and put an end to all of our problems time and time again. Can they? In theory, sure. As long as the market accepts whatever it is that central banks do without losing confidence in currencies, we're good to go. Here are a few examples for the US. 1. Did the markets lose confidence in the dollar after the Federal Reserve lowered interest rates to 1% in the aftermath of the dot-com bubble? No. 2. Did the markets lose confidence in the dollar after the Federal Reserve lowered rates all the way to zero and quote-unquote printed currency through quantitative easing after the Great Recession? Nope. 3. Did the market lose confidence in the dollar after the Federal Reserve lowered rates to zero again and started firing up the printing presses very aggressively and quickly in 2020? Once again, no, at least not thus far. While it's not impossible for this to continue indefinitely, it's improbable because 1. As we've been able to see, the market demands a more and more aggressive dose of stimulus with each crisis that appears. Yes, the Federal Reserve still has options such as negative interest rates like in the European Union and Japan, but while the market might accept let's say negative 1%, would it also be okay with something like negative 10%? 2. Markets risk becoming dependent on overly aggressive monetary policy and not just demanding ever-increasing doses, but also wanting the Fed to remain generous indefinitely. As such, while interest rates pretty much normalized from the dot-com bubble up until the Great Recession, the same has not happened after the Great Recession. And 3. While history doesn't have to repeat itself, it's worth noting that, historically speaking, currencies failing rather than succeeding is the norm. The bottom line is that central banks can most likely not print forever, but nobody knows when the party will end. As such, it makes sense to prepare for a wide range of outcomes rather than try to predict the future.